the Lynx KF31, as we presented here on the show and as we did in Eurosatory 2016, is the most modern family of vehicles um, that could be really interesting for the uh, BMP2 replacement of the Czech Republic, and that it's modular, flexible, and most likely the highest protected and the highest capable vehicle currently available. We are really looking forward to this uh, demonstration and we think that's a very thorough approach of the Czech uh, Republic to choose the right vehicle for their demand because that is much more than just uh, written on paper. So our advantage, I don't know what our advantage is against the others. They have good products too. I like the, uh, the BAE solution, I like the GDLS solution and of course I like the Puma also which is a great vehicle uh, that's already in service with the Bundeswehr. The Lynx, I, lo I, I love the Lynx because we did this, we invented this vehicle on our own, uh, on our own money and we invented it for all armies in the world and like the Czech army if they have a demand for a family of vehicles based on a, on a common platform, on a common chassis and then to be uh, modularly com uh, customized to the specific demands of their army and to be very quick reactive to changing requirement and to changing threats. The main feature there is that you can select whatever weapon you like. If you like a man turret, you can have a man turret like the Lance turret with a 30 millimeter gun here. If you want to have a bigger caliber, you can go for 35 millimeter or even higher. If you want to have a remote control turret, it's no problem. We can add our own remote control turrets. We can add third-party supplier remote control turrets. At the end of the day, with the KF-41, so the high, uh, the, let's say the extended version of our vehicle, you are even capable to use a 120-millimeter gun turret, so you have a kind of an intermediate battle tank on the common platform. When it comes to survivability, you can start on with the basic armor against normal threats, and you can add up as much uh, uh, protection you need. You can put on a uh, mine plate, you can put on uh, ballistic armor, and at the end of the day, you can put on active defense system also to be protected against RPGs and ATGM threats. This version is the infantry fighting vehicle. Yes, absolutely. So we have a standard crew of the vehicle, like one driver, two operators, gunner and commander. And then we have a, a dismount crew of six or eight, depending on customer requirements.